Hi there. My name's Lydia, and my rich ex-husband keeps dodging me for child support. I had to sneak into his house to make him pay. A few years ago, I had to file for divorce against my husband of four years. We met in high school, and like many high school romances, I thought ours would last a lifetime. But like many high school romances... I quickly found out that not everyone gets that kind of happy ending. So, as much as I tried for it not to happen, I had to raise my baby without Thomas. I did what I could, with what little skills I had. I wanted to give Eris the best life the world could offer, but unfortunately, it didn't pan out that way. I struggled, and boy, was it a tough few years. It was only lately that I felt I had to ask for help, especially because Eris had started preschool. So, one night, after trying to call, text, and email him and not getting any replies, I turned up at my ex-husband's house. Three times I knocked. No answer. I banged on the door as loud as I could until it finally opened, but what greeted me wasn't Thomas at all. Who are you? I'm... I'm Lydia. I'm here to see Thomas. He hasn't been returning my calls. He didn't say a strange woman with a baby will be coming. I'm his ex-wife. And who are you? She looked at me from head to toe, her face a stark picture of disinterest. Shh, stop. Waste of my time, yes. I'll fetch Tom. Tom! Tom! Ugh, is he deaf when he wants? I come back. Tom! She turned around, whipping me in the face. She was perfect. Tall, slender, and beautiful. Her blonde hair was pure as snow, and her eyes glittered a piercing blue, even in the dim light. But her personality stood in contrast of her beauty. She judged me the moment she saw me, and as she turned to look for Thomas, she slapped one of the maids who was only trying to greet me and shouted at the other staff who were busy cleaning up a mess in the kitchen. She pushed the people who were trying to blow-dry her hair and put her makeup on. It seems, since I'd left, a tyrant had taken up ruling my old house. When she reached the foot of the stairs, she bellowed again. Tom! Ugly woman with baby is here to see you. You come down or I call my cousin Melania to pick me up. And then finally, as if he had suddenly learnt the meaning of urgency, Tom appeared at the top of the stairs. He smiled down at Anastasia and apologized. Anastasia answered him with a sour expression and whipped around to disappear disapprovingly as the maids followed her with the blow dryer. Oh, wow. You've really let yourself go, huh? What what are you doing here, Lydia? What do you mean, what am I doing here? I mean just that. What are you doing here? Oh, okay, Tom. I was not informed that with the new nickname, you'd also lost the ability to use your phone, your email, and have completely forgotten how to read. Let me explain so you can understand. And this time, I'll try to keep it simple, baby. Child support. Get the gist? C. Child support. But why would I want to do that? Because you're Eris's father, and since you threw us out of the house, I'm raising her on my own. Should have thought about that when you decided to gain weight and stop wearing makeup. I was pregnant, which you'll never get, even though you act like a... What's this I hear about child support? Out of nowhere, Anastasia materialized like a furious dark elf. Her accent miraculously gone. Oh, oh, nothing, honey baby. My ex-wife is just talking silly stuff. Please don't worry yourself, honey cakes. Just focus on getting yourself ready for our big night. And then... Thomas turned to me. You see, 
we have a busy night. My entire office is going to come over. We have this whole party set up. My bosses are going to be here. I'm about to get a promotion. So it's a bit busy. I mean, why don't you come back next week? Why would she need to come back? As soon as you get that promotion, you promised we'd be on a holiday. I will not let this ugly, sad woman clown and her ugly baby get in the way of me getting a tan in Bermuda. Oh, a holiday, did she say? Thomas looked embarrassed, as if his new girlfriend had just let slip something he didn't want me to know. So you want me to come back next week while you were away, huh? Oh, shut your mouth, Lydia. This is all your fault. I'm rich now, and I can afford things. You are no longer on the same level as me. I deserve someone like Anastasia. Someone beautiful and young and slim. I deserve so much more than a frumpy, no-makeup, no-style woman who still hasn't gotten rid of the baby fat she gained almost five years after having her baby. A baby you don't even acknowledge, and who I've had to raise on my own. I may be cleaning people's houses for a living just to survive, but it's nothing compared to cleaning houses. Tom, did your ugly ex-wife just say she's a maid? (laughs) Oh, my. You, woman with frizzy hair, go away. Tom and I are inseparable now. He will never pay you for anything. He's with me now, and everything about Tom, his time, his effort, his heart, his money, this house, it's all from me. And you will never get in the way. Goodbye. That's disgusting. Tom looked at me as if I'd just said something horrible. Seriously, Lydia? Cleaning houses? How gross. You know how embarrassing it is just to think that I'm vaguely associated with you, and now you're raising my daughter around that type of thing? What will my friends at the country club say? That my daughter is being raised by someone who cleans toilets and does people's laundry? You really are low class. Oh, so now she's your daughter? What are you doing, Tom? Why are you still talking? I've already said goodbye to this disastrous woman. You know what, Lydia? Here's a better deal. How about I call my lawyer friends and you don't get anything? No child support, no daughter. I'm taking you to court for trying to extort money from me, and I'm suing for full custody of, of, of whatever her name is. He slammed the door in my face, and it took all the fortitude and patience in the universe for me not to just burn his house down then and there. If he was going to get lawyers involved, the last thing Eris and I needed was for me to be convicted of arson. No, I had to be smart. I had to be smarter than Thomas would expect, and I already had a plan. Later that night, I returned to his house while the dinner party was in full swing. I dressed up in a maid's uniform. I snuck in through the back and blended in with all the staff. Thomas never so much as gave a second glance at his maids, and I doubt Anastasia even thought about them as people. Even so, I still made sure to cut my hair and do my makeup differently, just in case. I served them dinner. I made sure I got to serve Thomas and Anastasia personally, and of course, I unnecessarily lingered to overhear their conversations. By the end of the evening... I found out why my ex-husband was so eager to get me out of the picture. I would like to thank all of you guys for coming, and to our bosses, I appreciate the value you put in me. Thank you for this promotion. I won't let you down, and thanks to this new position and the boss's generosity, I can work remotely. So now, I'd like to get my other announcement. Anastasia and I are getting married at the end of the month, and we're moving to Europe where we'll start a wonderful life with our daughter, Eris. Plaz erupted in the room. He was congratulated by everyone. I almost broke the tray I was holding in half. I calmly made my way back to the kitchen. I wanted to scream. I wanted to punch the wall like straight white men do. 
but I had to keep my cool. I was about to decide on burning Thomas's house down with a simple flick of the gas controls, but then somebody tapped me on the shoulder. I turned around, and there was a tall, handsome man who was smiling at me. Hi, and this is probably weird, and I know you won't expect anyone to recognize you, but you're Lydia, right? It's all right. I'm not here to expose you. I recognize you. You clean our house on Wednesdays. You're Edward. I, I'm sorry. I, I'm just here to... I know what you're here for. I know your story. And it wouldn't surprise you that I'm also here tonight for the same purpose. I'm not a big fan of your ex-husband. He's vile and evil and takes credit for people's work at the office. Last week, he had Jane fired just for getting his coffee order wrong. We have to let these people see this guy's true colors. I have the perfect plan. It was much sweeter, much more satisfying lacing Anastasia and Thomas's drinks with truth serum after having heard what they were planning. Oh, how sweet it felt to have them pay. They started talking gibberish, and then they became more out of it as the night wore on. The best part was when Thomas's boss was about to tell the pair he was about to call in a night. Oh, yes, you go home, Chad. <laughs> Who even has a name like Chad? Oh, by the way, Chad, everyone in the office knows you wear a wig. <laughs> then Anastasia embraced Thomas's boss, causing his wig to fall off. Oh, Chad, you're so rich. If you weren't so old and bald, I'd marry you instead of this pathetic employee who's only making money because he steals from your accounting department. <laughs> That's funny, because as soon as you gain a single pound of weight, I'm leaving you for another girl. I already have a new girlfriend in Europe. I'm just using you so the courts will see I have a stable family life, and they'll give me my daughter so my ex-wife could suck it. Oh, and if you spend my money, I'll turn you into the immigration office because you're only here with my help. Illegally, might I add. <laughs> Everyone was shocked. They didn't know if it was a joke, but it was clearly the truth. So I decided to reveal myself. People gasped. Even more drama than they thought was possible. That's right. Been here the whole time, Thomas. And I recorded everything. Come morning when I give all this evidence to the authorities, you're the one who's, how shall I put it, gonna suck it. See you in court. Edward took my hand, and together we left that house. I finally found someone who had my back.